It's carnival time in Brazil, but at this general hospital in northeastern Recife, there's nothing festive for scores of pregnant women whose babies are being diagnosed with microcephaly. Rebecca, who caught the Zika virus when she was in her second month, is a prime suspect. Your baby's head looks normal so far, but it's too early to know for sure. We need another seven weeks. Every day, more and more people are being infected by the Zika virus. And every day, more mothers are giving birth to babies with microcephaly. But in the absence of conclusive evidence linking the two, the speculation about the possible consequences of the Zika virus is spreading as quickly as the epidemic itself. We traveled to Sao Paulo to try to get some answers from researchers at the forefront of the investigation into this little-known mosquito-borne virus. At the University of Sao Paulo, pregnant mice are being infected with Zika to see if they will develop brain lesions. But it's too soon to reach any conclusion, says Professor Jean-Pierre Perron. Meanwhile, women all over the Americas are anxious to know if an infected person is safe to get pregnant months or years after the virus has left the bloodstream. Could that person still have the, be carrying the Zika virus and could she pass it on to her child? That is a very relevant question. We don't have an answer for that. I know that, for example, for Ebola, you can find a, vir vi a virus in the semen like nine months or ten months after the first infection, right? If you have this war, you don't send just the soldiers, okay? You need to send the entire thing that you have, the army, the navy, <laughs> the everything. The director of the Butantan Medical Research Center is optimistic that the virus's proximity to dengue, for which they recently discovered a vaccine, could speed up the process. People start working right now and perhaps due to the fact that we know many things on the immunity against dengue, we could use it for Zika. And perhaps in the near future, we'll have candidates of a Zika vaccine. But as researchers work round the clock to unravel the mysteries of this virus, they admit there are more questions than answers. They cannot, for example, confirm or rule out that the virus could be sexually transmitted through semen or that children could suffer brain lesions if they become infected at a young age. They need more time and more money for research. Back in Recife's General Hospital, Rebecca puts on a brave face as she receives a sonogram photo of Julia, her still unborn daughter not knowing what the final diagnosis will be when she returns. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Recife.